Welcome. I'm Malou. Today, let's look at congruent and similar shapes. So, what are congruent figures? Well, look at this hand and this hand. So they're both hands, and if I slide them together, they match perfectly. See? So congruent figures are the same size and shape. Let's do a few examples. Here are two figures. Are they congruent shaped? Well, let's see. Well, they're both rectangles. And if I slide the pink rectangle on top of the blue rectangle, it matches perfectly. So these two rectangles are congruent shaped. Now let's look at this example. Are these shapes congruent? Well, they are both hexagons. And if I slide the pink hexagon on top of the blue hexagon, it matches perfectly. So these hexagons are congruent shapes. Now let's look at these shapes. Are they congruent shapes? This one. Is a little tricky. So if I flip the pink one, it looks like the blue one. And now, if I slide the pink one on top of the blue one, it matches perfectly. So these two shapes are congruent. So now, what are the similar figures? Well, look at this shape and this shape. They're both rectangles, and if I slide the pink one on top of the blue one, it's smaller than the blue one. So the similar figures are the same shape but different size. Let's look at a few examples. Here are two shapes. Are they similar shapes? Well, let's see. They're both triangles, and if I slide the pink triangle on top of the blue triangle, it's smaller than the blue triangle. So these triangles are similar shapes. Now let's look at this example. Are they similar shapes? Well, let's see. They're both octagons. Let's measure one side of the octagon. So the blue octagon's side is longer than the pink octagon's side. So they are similar shapes, not congruent shapes. So that's all for today. If you like me, please like, share, and follow. Thanks for your support.